I'm Emily Zaccardi, CEO and founder of Holler Hype, a voice tech company focused on emotional support. I'm excited to share a bit about our mission and our product with you today as we are um, really engaged in the idea of offering our services to the public sector. And the reason for that is because Holler Hype is a company that's really focused on human connection. And when we think about what it means to mobilize really important projects designed for impact, we know that that starts um, at the individual level. And what really began our journey in creating our tech platform, Holler Hype, is our understanding of how disconnected people can feel um, even if they're oftentimes surrounded by others or have people in their lives that they can, uh, that they talk to on a daily basis, there are still oftentimes these feelings of disconnect that can prevent somebody from feeling confident, um, engaged, able to move their work forward, oftentimes move their lives forward. This idea of disconnect only amplified throughout the pandemic, which we all experienced in a variety of different but overwhelming ways. And we became even more motivated to use our tool um, to help people actually foster deeper connections to feel more supported in their lives. And that's what Holler Hype is aimed to do. We're a, a platform that unifies people in key moments through the power of voice. And our, our communication solution is really designed to turn the idea of connecting with others on its head in the sense of, um, Right now, when you want to communicate with people, you have to almost guess, is this a good time to reach out? Is this email going to land? Is this text message going to be received at the right time? Should I call them? Um, which ultimately lands us at this idea of uncertainty. And it's a really broad feeling. Everyone's familiar with it. And what does that have to do with the public sector, of course? Well, again, um, the hundreds of thousands, if not more, people who are helping to move our society forward. They're part of these larger organizations. They're really essential teams, but at the root of it, they're human. They're an individual. And when we face uncertainty, um, we can find friction in our workflows. We can feel stuck on a personal level. And as I briefly touched on, wondering if you have landed on the right time to connect with somebody if you are second guessing, am I the right person to actually reach out in this moment? Or do I have enough context to actually engage with this person? There are all of these obstacles that come up um, in our minds that can prevent us from seeking that human connection that really is essential in moving forward in our lives. There's a reason why we're not meant to do everything alone. And Holler Hype creates this type of connection that reduces those barriers around um, self-doubt, second guessing, disconnection. And again, it's at the crux of communication. How do we think about this differently? We're in a world now that have so many overwhelming obstacles in front of us. Um, if we can improve the way that we communicate, well, we believe that the outcome of our work will a, become stronger, and B, maybe even move along a bit faster. So how does Holler Hype even work? Um, what does this platform do exactly? Um, there's two different audiences that we serve. There's the primary user, and then there's the supporter. And if you're a primary user of Holler Hype, you might say, okay, I'm up against this challenge. I want to receive some support, but I'm not exactly um, up for a phone call, not looking for emails. Maybe I'm not even looking for advice but I'm ready to hear from people that get what I'm going through. So I'm gonna go live. And when you go live, it's like you're sending this bat signal up, like, hey, I'm ready, I'm here. I wanna hear from my trust-based network. I wanna hear from my peers. And at that point you set it and forget it. And that's where our voice technology comes into play. You engage with whatever your um, activity at hand is. Maybe you're listening to some music, um, focusing on other things. And at this point, your supporters receive this notification saying, hey, you know, so-and-so is out there, your friend, your mom, your coworker, whoever it might be that you're connected with in this trust-based group, this is a good time to reach out to them. And at that point, the supporter records a voice message, hit send, and it immersively delivers through your headphones or the speaker of your phone in real time. 
and what we create through our tech in terms of um, the end result is experiential support where the end user, or that primary user does not have the pressure to respond or the distraction to accept, which ultimately differentiates this mode of communication. And if we imagine using a platform like this, when we are working on um, you know, any, any sort of activity or challenge that really requires our attention, but feels like it could be um, pretty challenging, um, this type of communication is approachable and our um, hypothesis, I guess, is that more people that can, re- if there are more people who can receive support in a way that is not overwhelming and is in fact approachable, well, as a collective society, we will feel more supported in what we do. So back to the public sector, what are some use cases for a consumer facing technology platform like Holler Hype? Well, um, when we think about folks who are actually leading our policy forward, senators, members of Congress, um, they could use something like Holler Hype to actually hear from their constituents in the most convenient times. Maybe they're out for a bike ride, maybe they're out for a walk, and they just want to say, hey, what's on your mind? Uh, This is actually a good time for me to hear from you. Um, In this sense, those public facing leaders can receive this real time communication in a way that um, does not require any coordination and does not um, pose any sort of overwhelm in terms of the pressure to respond. Yet the emotional connection that can happen in an instance like that is quite authentic. And um, we we know that those types of engagement opportunities are really important to help keep our national leaders engaged with what is uh, truly important at the root of our societies. When we think about how many folks are helping to move our society forward in the face of science, for example, hundreds of thousands of people that are working in very large organizations very diligently to make sure that we understand the breakthrough sciences that will help keep us feel um, help keep us safe, supported, um, ahead of the curve, um, those types of organizations could use our platform in an enterprise capacity where they can actually use Holler Hype as a content channel um, to send meaningful messaging without causing any distraction to these folks who are really focused at the task at hand. When we think about um, our dedicated folks overseas or our veterans who have come home from overseas, um, a communication tool like Holler Hype, which has been designed thoughtfully to um, promote engagement in, a, again, an approachable way that doesn't create overwhelm. We are excited to think that a solution like this can really ensure that these folks feel supported at the most key moments where they might feel overwhelmed. Again, connecting them with their trust-based network. And one of the final applications that we're pretty enthusiastic about is the idea of leveraging holler hype through Medicaid to serve um, all of the aging folks in our community, people that might be literally living in isolation, um, feeling overwhelmed by the lack of social interaction that goes on in their day. Our tool is designed to Um, help create really meaningful, authentic connection for people that can really suffer the consequences from not receiving that. So we oftentimes think about how many people it takes to help move our healthy communities forward. And so much of that comes from the hard work that goes on in the public sector. And we look forward to finding ways that we can forge partnerships with all different types of organizations and entities that agree that um, emotional support and authentic engagement can help actually strengthen these key communities for the better of everyone involved. And that's a, that's a summary of why we are so focused on building responsible technology for the benefit of emotional support in our communities. Um, we're looking to partner with champions who wanna pilot our technology within their organizations and help us understand how we can continue to move um, the evolving opportunities and communication forward.